Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I have here is x squared minus 2x minus 4y plus 9 equals 0. And what I want to do is show you how to graph the ellipse. So to graph the ellipse, the first thing we want to do is make sure we have it in kind of a uh, standard form that we know how to graph, determine what the p you know, value is to our focus and our directrix and so forth. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to want to do is complete the square. So to do that, I'm going to want to separate the x's and the y's. So I'm going to get the y and my constant over to the right side. By doing that, I'll just add 4y and subtract a 9 on both sides. OK, so now I have x squared minus 2x is equal to 4y minus 9. Now, remember, when we're looking for a standard form, uh, especially for parabola and conic sections, we want to have a binomial squared. So to obtain our binomial squared, we have to complete the square. So to complete the square, we have to take b divided by 2 and square it, which in this case is 2, or I'm sorry, negative 2 divided by 2 and square it. Well, negative 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1 squared is positive 1. OK, so now I'm going to add 1 on the right side as well as the left side, because I have to produce equivalent equations. OK, perfect. So now what I've done is I, on the left side, by, by taking b divided by 2, I've created a perfect square trinomial. And a perfect square trinomial can now be factored into a binomial squared. So to convert this to a binomial x squared, it's simply x minus 1 squared is equal to 4y. Negative 9 plus 8 is now negative 8. Okay. So now the last thing you want to do is to determine p. I want to see, can I factor anything out on my right side? I can't do anything else on the left side. And I have x minus 1 squared equals, factor out of 4, I'm left with y minus 2. Okay. So now you can see, ladies and gentlemen, that from my equation, I have that my x is going to be squared. So therefore, the equation that I'm going to use to determine all of my values is going to be x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. All right? So therefore, remember the vertex is in the form of h comma k. All right? So my vertex here is h comma r1 comma 2. Now, the next thing we want to look at so there's my vertex. The next thing we want to look at is identifying what p is, right? Because p is the distance from your vertex to your focus. Um, and it's the same absolute distance back to the directrix. And da, 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 da. So to identify that, I see that 4 um, is equal to 4p. So 4p is equal to 4. We'll divide by 4, divide by 4. p is equal to 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now I know that the value of p is a positive 1. I know the graph opens up or down, um, and it has a vertex at 1, 2. So let's go ahead and graph it here now. So I go over 1, up 2. Again, remember, since p is positive, that means I'm going to go up 1 to find my focus. So there's my vertex, up 1 to find the focus. Now remember, the vertex and the focus all lie on the axis of symmetry which is at x equals 1. So I could write that in there. OK. Now, so those lie on the axis symmetry. Um, I found the vertex. The focus is just one point up, right? So the focus, I can write in that point, is just 1, 3. And now the directrix has the same absolute distance as the vertex to the focus, but it's in the opposite direction. And also to remember that the directrix is perpendicular to my axis symmetry. It's not a point like the focus. It is a line. So if I have go down one, there is going to be my directrix. And since it's horizontal, I can say y equals 1 is my directrix. But I'll write that down here. Directrix y equals, y equals 1. And oh, well, let's plot what the graph will look like, right? And it probably is going to look something like that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you write the, or how you graph a parabola as well as identify the focus, directrix, and the axis of symmetry. Thanks.